Hello students, hope you all are well and staying safe. Apart from your daily activities, let us study some new topic, it's force. We are going to study about force as because you are not new to this term. You have learned this term in your junior classes also. Uh, but now in this class, you need to study more about force. So what is force? We are going to study first. Force is a push or pull on an object. Right? So push or pull on an object is known as force. If you are pushing a table, you are uh, opening a drawer or you are picking something, you are uh, throwing something, you are hitting a ball using a bat, it's all application of force. So it is a measurable quantity which is also known as physical quantity. Physical quantity means like you can measure mass, you can measure time, you can measure length, you can also measure force. So what is the unit to measure it? To measure force, we use SI unit which is Newton. So you can say SI unit of force is Newton denoted by capital N and CGS unit. CGS, it is a particular system of units, centimeter, gram, second. CGS unit is dime. D by N E symbol is D by. So now you know about force that it is a measurable quantity. SI unit is Newton and CGS unit is dime. There is one important relation between Newton and and dime that 1 newton equals to 10 to the power 5 dime. This is an important relation. Please note it. Now we are going to study about what are the effects of force as because it is an external agent it can do so many things. So what things or what changes can you observe when you apply force like suppose this is an object it is at rest if you apply force it starts moving and even and a moving object can be stopped by application of force. So you can say that Force can bring an object from motion to rest or rest to motion. So here we start with effects of force. You can write number one. An object in motion can come to rest. As well as. An object at rest, like if there is a ball lying on the ground, it can be, uh, it can come to motion if you apply force. So, an object at rest can be brought into motion by application of force. So, uh, same thing we can say for all the activities what we see in our daily life. Next thing about force that it can also bring change in shape and size of an object. I can write here shape and size of an object can be changed. Let us see how. Suppose I have this piece of a sponge. If I compress it, shape is changed. Now, if I have a rubber band, if I stretch it, the shape as well as sizes change. So the second effect of force is that it can change the shape and size of an object. Third effect, it can change the speed of a moving object. If an object is moving, you can 
change the speed like if you are cycling you can reduce the speed or you can increase the speed so speed of an object can be changed by the application of force as per the requirement next one is direction direction of a moving object can also be changed you can move towards right or left front or back or east west north south anywhere as per the requirement so these all are the effects of force so there are so many activities like picking throwing cycling pushing pulling uh, opening closing like you are opening the door closing the door it all comes under force and you can see various kinds of effects of force in your daily life activities now i start with what are the types of force there are many types of forces so our next topic is types of force i'm going to discuss several types of forces and by the end you need to categorize them in two different categories so i start with types of forces Number one, muscular force. Muscular force, as the name suggests, the force exerted or applied by the muscles is known as muscular force. Like a bull is pulling a cart, it is an example of muscular force. Number two, friction or force of friction. This is also not a new term for you. When an object is moving, it is always opposed by some opposing force. So the opposing force which tends to stop a moving object is known as friction. So whenever an uh, object is moving on the ground, suppose a ball is rolling on the ground and automatically it stops after some time on its own. It means there is some force which is trying to stop its motion and that is nothing but known as friction or frictional force number 3 is mechanical force mechanical force means the force applied by the machines is known as mechanical force like the machine of an engine pulls the engine and so all the bogies or all the uh, different compartments of the train are being pulled. So this way you can say mechanical force is the force which is applied by the machines. So can you notice there is some similarity among these three forces. Something is required between two objects. What's that? Yes, that is the physical contact. So when there is physical contact between two objects, it is known as or such kind of forces are known as contact forces. So these three comes under the category of contact forces. So you have studied three different forces under this category, muscular force, friction and mechanical force. Now we start with another set of forces. Number one, it is gravitational force. The force applied by the earth on other objects. Or you can say this is the force due to which all objects in the universe are pulling each other. That is the universal force and gravitational force. Number two is electrostatic force. Electrostatic force. I think students this force is absolutely new for you. Electrostatic force means you must have played many times and enjoyed with your friends. Suppose 
you have been given some pieces of paper, bits of paper and you are given a plastic ruler. If you rub it on your dry hair, let us see what happens. We will try what happens. Yes, it is happening. The bits of paper are attracted towards the plastic ruler. So what is this force? Yes, you are right. This is electrostatic force. So this is a force which is applied by a charged ruler on a charged material or uncharged material. It is not necessary that both the things should be charged. One can be charged, another can be charged or uncharged. So this is another force which is known as electrostatic force. Number three, it is magnetic force. In your previous classes, you have learnt about magnets. Yes, you have uh, done a lot of fun with magnets and you must have seen that when we take two magnets, they either they ripple or they track like poles, they uh, ripple each other like this and uh, unlike poles, they attract each other. And it is not necessary that magnets attract only magnets. Magnets attract other magnetic materials also. So the force applied by the magnets on another magnet or some magnetic material is known as magnetic force. So you have learnt the third type of force here, magnetic force. So again you can see there is some similarity among these three forces, gravitational force, electrostatic force and magnetic force. What's that? Yes, you are right. There is no physical contact required for these forces. So they come under the category known as non-contact forces okay so you have learned about types of forces contact forces and non-contact forces please revise all these topics we will meet again in next video revise and just have a good time stay well